let's do a caffeine break. I think this is the best t-shirt I've ever found. It has a baby dog, and I think it's cute. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to episode two of Cooking with Lore. Episode one was a big recipe. It was very complicated, we were doing a lot of things, and I figured for episode two we would keep it, we would take a step back, and start simple. So I figured today one of my favorite things to make as a vegan, because I don't eat eggs obviously, is tofu scramble. It's simple, it's easy, and it's delicious. So why not start it? So before we get into it, I just wanna talk about what we're gonna need for this recipe. Now again, I'm really bad at measuring things when I cook, but I'm gonna try my best to try to give you somewhat of an idea of what we're doing today. Okay, so obviously since we are making tofu scramble, we have a block of tofu. Now, personally, I prefer extra firm tofu. I think that because it has less water content, it just, the consistency of it, really, really resembles scrambled eggs, and that's what we're trying to imitate here today. So that's just my personal reference. If you prefer a medium or soft firm tofu, that's up to you, you do you, boo. Now, this tofu has been pressed for about, I'm gonna say 30 minutes. I just put it in between two paper, paper towels and then you put something heavy on top. If you have a tofu presser, I'm very jealous. I wish I had one, but if you don't have one, uh, just like a book, maybe a huge, I just did a huge pan and put it on top. Just so all that extra juice can come out of it and um, our tofu scramble is not too watery. We're also gonna add some greens because I like adding greens to everything. Just, it's always better to add some greens. Uh, we're gonna need peppers. I'm gonna use half of an orange pepper, half of a red pepper. I have some garlic, as well as some red onion here that we're gonna do to add some flavor. And then tomato, which I haven't cut up yet, but we will do that together. And then the other thing that we need is spices. Tofu scramble is pretty cool though, because you can add whatever vegetables you want, whatever spices your heart desires. You do you. As I said, this is just what I had in my fridge, so that's what we're doing. We're gonna need the start of the show, turmeric. This is gonna, not only is this a freaking amazing thing for your body, it's an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, all the good stuff, but it's gonna give your tofu scramble that yellow eggy color, which is science, you know? We are gonna use some smoked paprika for flavor and coloring, as well as some black pepper. I have Himalayan pink salt, but whatever salt you have will be fine. And then last but not least, my favorite thing to add to everything, and I do mean everything, is Nutritional Yeast. This is honestly my favorite brand. Red Mill, I think it's what it's called. It's, it's the best one I've tried. And then you're gonna need some uh, vegan butter or margarine, whatever you prefer. And then usually how I like to make tofu scramble is I like to make it with arepas. If you're not familiar with arepas, uh, they're very, I am Colombian, I'm sure you know this by now, but they're very common in Colombia and Venezuela. And they're almost like these corn, they resemble tortillas, but they're thicker, they're just delicious. Usually that's what I use, but I didn't have that today. So what I found in the fridge, we have some of these Pillsbury croissants. These are accidentally vegan. They're not gluten free, so I'm just gonna hurt my tummy for this video, but I really want a croissant. But we're gonna make it like extra special. We're gonna add some extra butter and just make it even better than just your Pillsbury frozen croissants. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna cut up our peppers. Some bad stuff, but you know what? Nothing is perfect. Life isn't perfect. So we just take out the little brown parts that it has. Also, if you have mushrooms, I would definitely say that mushrooms are definitely a priority for this dish. I unfortunately don't have any. And to be honest with you, we just like, I just wanted to film with whatever I have in the fridge just to make it a little bit more realistic. However you wanna cut your peppers, again, it's not a big deal. I personally think like little dicing is better for the tofu scramble. Now I'm making the whole block today and it's gonna make quite a bit of tofu scramble, but I like doing it this way because then I have leftovers for the rest of the week and I don't have to make the whole process again. I can just save it. And if you put it in the fridge, it'll be good for like at least a week. Then you have breakfast on the go or brunch or dinner, whatever. I like eating tofu scramble at all times personally. 
Are people gonna come for me because I'm using this little knife for everything? Listen, I have small hands. As you can tell, I don't really pay attention to them being the same size. This is tofu scramble. This is, we're not in a five-star restaurant here. So that's that. So, okay. We've got our peppers here. We've got a mix of the red and the orange in there. I just like to give them a bit of a mix. I diced the tomatoes as well. They're not the best looking tomatoes, but I wanna just use them up because I hate wasting food. So that's that. I think our next step is I'm gonna grab our block hot tofu. As I said, I am gonna use the whole thing just because I can use it for the whole week. I like to take half of it and then cut it in a quarter and then you're gonna use your hands for this. You're just gonna crumble the tofu. This is what's gonna give it that scrambled eggs texture and look, and that's what we're going for here. This is just to your liking. If you like chunkier tofu, do it chunkier. If you want more fine pieces, you can do it like that as well. Like I said, it is quite important that you press your tofu before doing this because as you can tell, like it is pretty dry. There's not extra water coming from it. If you don't press your tofu, you're gonna get a lot of extra water and it's just not, it's gonna change the flavor of the tofu, the texture of the tofu. We're already adding a lot of veggies which are high in water content. Okay, if you see any big pieces, just go back in. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. And I, again, if you wanna do it all at once, you can do that. I like doing it with pieces so that it's a little bit more uniform. I'm very particular about how I do things, but you do you. Do we like my nail polish color? I think it's cute. It's like a nice baby pink. I've started doing my own nails ever since quarantine. So I bought like a gel kit and all that stuff. And I'm trying to get into nail art, but I'm trying to let my nails grow a little bit just because my nails are quite short and I have little baby hands. I feel like nail art just doesn't look good, as good as when your nails are longer but that's just me. We've got our tofu in here. I'm just gonna, again, just set it aside. And I'm gonna grab my little dandy. I love, how cute is this? How cute is this little boy? I think it's the cutest thing ever. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of my spices in here. So again, I don't usually measure when I do these things, but we're trying to be professional here. So I'm gonna grab like a half teaspoon and start with that. Yeah, that's actually good. Then I'm gonna grab some black pepper, about the same. Maybe a little bit less than half a teaspoon, like that much. We don't want it too peppery over here. We're gonna grab some smoked paprika. I'm probably gonna do a half a teaspoon, let's be real. I really enjoy paprika. And then turmeric, definitely, definitely half a teaspoon. I might even add more after. Again, these are measurements that I'm just starting with, but I'd rather start with less and then add. So what I like to do next is I like to grab my tofu and I like to grab my spices and I'm gonna sprinkle the spices in just like this. Give our tofu a little stir. And I like putting the spices in before we actually cook it because I feel like the spices can actually get into the tofu and uh, make it a little bit more flavorful than just adding it to the pan. This looks pretty good actually. I'm gonna leave this because again, it's easier to add rather than take away, and we don't know if I put too much salt, we'll have to do a tasting, but for now, we're just gonna put that on the side. We're gonna let our tofu marinate in our spices for a little bit, and then our next step is we're actually gonna start cooking. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is add olive oil to this. You can use olive oil or whatever oil you, you're using. Just don't use canola oil. Your insides will hate you. And the first thing you should always cook is your garlic and your onion, because that's what holds the most most flavor. It's you want to get that golden brown and it usually takes the longest to cook. Our peppers and our tomatoes don't take a long time to cook so that's why you want to cook these first. As you can see we're just letting that get golden brown. We're starting to cameralize a little bit. It, take your time honestly this is what's gonna give your tofu scramble that flavor. I wish there was like a smell-o-vision with YouTube because 
This actually smells incredible. I just really love the smell of garlic and onion. We're gonna add our tomato next. I diced it up. This tomato is not looking the best. It's juicy, but that's okay. We're, I'm gonna put this back on the burner and just let that cook for a little longer and then we're gonna add our peppers. This might be very Colombian of me. The way that we eat scrambled eggs in Colombia is we eat huevos perico. And huevos perico means it has to have garlic onion and it has to have tomato and you need to let this fry up for a bit get that tomato to like lose the firmness and just get all that flavor out uh, that's my favorite way to eat tofu scramble and i think it's because of how i used to eat eggs when i did eat them and especially scrambled eggs it just tastes the best the tomato even if you don't like tomato i really urge you to try it this way because i just feel like the flavors that it gives with the onion and the garlic just is like next level it almost looks like a salsa see but that's what we're going for that's the flavor that we need if any other colombians are watching this do you guys eat huevos pericos or is there a bogota thing i want to know if it happens anywhere else in the country so the next thing i'm gonna do is add our peppers so we're just gonna let this cook um, and adhere some of the flavors. And what I'm gonna do actually for while this is cooking is I'm gonna have my little spice mix that I had before. And I am gonna add some of it to our little veggie mixture here. Cause we want our veggies to also have a lot of flavor. Yeah, baby. Okay, I'm gonna actually get my assistant to try the, the veg and see if it needs like a little bit more salt just so I know what I'm missing flavor wise we are missing a little salt here so I am gonna just add just a tiny bit of salt there okay and I think we've reached that time where the tofu is actually going to be brought up okay so I like to do it by layers I like adding one layer just so that it, all the flavors can mix together everything's a little bit more uniform I don't know I just think this is the best way to do it it doesn't even look like tofu at this point it's a lot of tofu as I said but you can make it all one day and then have it for the rest of the week it's the best way to do it rather than doing like little by little I just feel like it just wastes too much time look at this color does it not remind you of scrambled eggs crazy and all just because of a little turmeric love that bitch i'm gonna lower the heat we're out of four right now i'm gonna do a three and just let it sit because i like my tofu scramble to like be golden brown and thoroughly cook now while i'm waiting for the tofu to really cook through i'm going to start the croissants they take 10 to 12 minutes in the oven and we're about 10 to 12 minutes from being done with this tofu scramble so i think it's the perfect timing i'm gonna taste it my assistant's gonna taste it when i say my assistant i mean man obviously <laughs> and then see what it's missing i think i could actually you know what i'm gonna add the rest of the spices and i am gonna add i think a little bit more salt too you know what we're missing, and I didn't even think twice about it? Because we're missing some like garlic powder or onion powder, guys. I need something to like kick start, so I'll be right back. Okay, I added some garlic powder and some onion powder because it was just missing, it was missing something. I'm gonna give this a mix, and then I'm gonna try it again. I think it's still missing a bit of salt. With cooking, I find that the best way to do it is just to taste it as you go. Because again, when you're following a recipe or any measurements, that's to that person's taste. You might need more salt, you might need less salt, you might want more pepper, you might want to make it spicy. You know, if you can't eat spicy food, some cayenne pepper would be like 10 out of 10 or some chili flakes in this would be really good. I unfortunately cannot have that, but okay, I'm just gonna give this a taste again because I think we're missing some salt. Yeah, we're missing a bit of salt. So, Okay, now this is pretty cooked through. It's getting golden. I'm adding my spinach or my mixed greens. This is a mix of a bunch of greens. You can just add spinach. You could add kale. Kale is probably my favorite to do in Toby's Scramble. But I guess I'm using what I have in the fridge today. So 
Now I like to be very generous with this. You know that when you cook with any greens, you can put in like so much and it becomes nothing. So I like being generous. I, again, I like adding greens to my stuff. It makes me feel like I'm getting some of my veggies in for the day. I'm gonna turn this down to a two and I'm actually gonna just cover it and let it sit for a minute. The last thing I'm gonna add to our tofu scramble to just take it to the next level is definitely nutritional yeast. Add as much as you want. I like a lot, so I'm probably gonna put a lot, 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 a lot of it in. Our little guys are, oh, they're almost there. This oven here is like too strong. So I'm gonna actually put them down because I find that the bottom ones are getting like not as cooked as the other ones. So I'm just gonna flip this around. Here and here, and I'm just gonna turn it down to like a 325, 325, and just let it be for another minute. They're honestly almost ready, and they look amazing. <laughs> Okay, and that brings us to the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed and you learned something cool today. I hope that you can now make tofu scramble at home. As I said, this was an easy recipe that you can do any day with whatever you have in the fridge. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you try it out. I wanna go eat my food. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Please stay tuned for episode three of Cooking with Laura. We don't know what we're making yet. I haven't thought about it. Maybe I'm thinking I may want to do a papa rellena but, and make it vegan, but we'll see. We're still, tr there's so many things in my head going on and I haven't decided what we're doing yet. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Please don't forget to like, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you can actually see my videos. And uh, thanks for watching, okay, bye.